Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to show you a revised performance and tutorial for a trick I did about three years ago called Three Indicators. This one usually gets great reactions so I thought I would do it again. At the end of the video I'll be announcing the winners of the signed deck giveaway from my last video. Plus there's going to be another signed deck giveaway. So for this trick we're going to give the cards a shuffle. And I'm going to make three predictions. So prediction number one will go on top of the deck. Prediction number two will go on top, and prediction number three will go on top. So there's one, two, three predictions, and we'll take the three predictions and set them right under the card box. So now I'm going to give the cards a couple of cuts, and I need you to select two cards. So what I'll do is I'm going to riffle through the cards. You call out stop wherever you like. The first two cards we come to will be your selection. Stop. Okay, one, two. So those are your two selections. Let's take the three predictions and take a look at your first selection, the Jack of Clubs. So we'll turn over and look at the four cards and we have one, two, three, four Jacks. So we're going to take one, two, three Jacks, your selection, the Jack of Clubs, put it back on top of the deck. Take these three Jacks. Let's take a look at your second selection. Your second selection was the Four of Hearts. All I have to do is give the four a little flick. And just like that, the three predictions turn into the other three fours. Okay, here's the tutorial. In my performance, I use jacks and fours, so I'll show you how to do it with these cards. You want a black jack, a red jack, a black jack, and a red four on top of the deck, just like that. These four cards are going to go right on top, and these three fours are going to be somewhere near the bottom. You could just put them in red, black black, red, black. It doesn't really have to be in black, red, black order with the fours, but it just looks nicer at the end. You're going to start off by shuffling the cards. You do not want to disturb the top four cards, so give the cards a ripple shuffle and keep the four cards on top. So you've got the four cards on top. Now you tell the spectator you're going to make three predictions. You're going to look for the three fours. So the black four right here, move it to the top, red four right here move it to the top and the black four right here move it to the top flip the cards over and now you have your three predictions on top as you spread them out you're gonna spread out five cards so you're gonna push these two cards off you're gonna catch a little pinky break right underneath these cards right here because as you square them up you're gonna steal these two cards away so you see I've got my three predictions you square them up now you're taking the five cards. So this is five cards here, and you're going to put them under the card box. This is why you want the card box, so it holds the cards down, and you don't want anybody seeing that it looks like it's more than three cards. Now you have the black jack and the red four on top of the deck. You want to force those two cards. So what I did now was a 190 helix false cut, which looks a little bit something like this. So you can look up my tutorial. It's in the description below. And then you give the cards a swing cut, and you're going to force the top two cards. So you're going to tell the spectator, you're going to riffle down. So you catch a pinky break right here, and you riffle down, ask the spectator to call out stop. Wherever they say stop, you're going to just break it right at this point here. So they call out stop, and now you force these two cards. That's the jack, that's the four. Now you set the deck down right over here. You take the three predictions, and you turn over the first selection, which is the jack of clubs. You're going to flip the cards over and you're going to do an Elmsley count. So this is where it gets a little difficult because there are six cards here. You have to do a six card Elmsley count. So you turn the cards over and you're showing the red jack, jack of hearts. You could cover it so people don't see the heart if you want. When you flip the cards over, you can cover it just like that. And then you're going to peel off the top card while you're pinching these cards. Then you're going to block push all these cards as one. That's all three fours and the jack. So you're going to peel off the top card, then you're going to block push all these cards, you're going to return the jack of hearts to the bottom, and you're going to clip these cards and take these as one card, then this would be three and four, and then you show that there's the fourth jack. So once again, you've got this setup right here, the jack of clubs, you flip the cards over, peel off one, push all these, return that to the bottom, that's two, this is three, this is four, 
and then you turn over and say we have four jacks so now the situation is just like this so you turn the cards over holding them in a biddle grip you say let's take my three predictions the three jacks one two three and those are really the three fours and your selection the jack of clubs and we'll set your selection back on top of the deck and you're really putting back all three jacks so you set that on top of the deck and now the trick is pretty much done so now you say let's take a look at your second selection and you can use the cards to flip it over and show that it's the four of diamonds and now you can say just with a little flick or whatever you want to do you can say let's take a look and see and you show that the other three cards turn into the three fours and you have all four fours so it's a little complicated the trick usually gets great reactions let me know what you guys think now on to the prize giveaway here are the winners of the signed bicycle decks from my last video winning a red signed deck goes to Jimmy Nguyen winning a blue signed deck goes to Nathan Luigi winning an orange signed deck goes to Disco Ball SR winning a fuchsia deck goes to Hicks Magic winning a green signed deck goes to Wyatt Arbuthnot winning a turquoise signed deck goes to Harry McKenzie Bridal winning a purple sign deck goes to Overshot Muffin and winning the second purple sign deck goes to Defy Logic once again I'm giving away eight sign decks of bicycle playing cards red blue green orange fuchsia black purple and a ghost deck all you have to do is leave a comment below like the video and I'll be announcing the winners in my next video I want to apologize for being away for a little over two months. I was dealing with some personal issues, but now I'm back. Everything is cool. I should be uploading real soon. Good luck to everybody. That's it. I'll see you next time.